It's all over the internet that uh, the way to get rid of jello on a GoPro camera is to add a neutral density filter. Now the reason for this is the GoPro's got no aperture control so on a very bright day in order to reduce the exposure it has a very high shutter speed and the shutter speed in conjunction with the vibration created by the rotors results in jello. So the way to, to fix that is to reduce the shutter speed and we do that by adding a neutral density filter. However with the Zenmuse which is a very delicately balanced brushless gimbal um, a lot of people are worried that adding a neutral density filter to that is going to upset the the, the balance of the uh, the gimbal and result in motors burning out and all sorts of other problems. Uh, well I've got around it by making a disposable neutral density filter that weighs zero grams and this is how you do it. All you need is some neutral density gel which you can buy on eBay for a couple of dollars a sheet. Um, I go for the number six um, and they, they, they're described as all sorts of different things but usually as neutral density gel for theatre. And the only other thing you need is a bit of double sided uh, sticky um, and it needs to be about a millimetre uh, in thickness and that's just to keep the gel uh, away from the, the, touching the lens, to stop the gel from touching the lens. And you need some template with which to cut out a 18 millimeter hole. I use a 5B coin for that. And a 23 millimeter or thereabouts hole. And I use a 10 pence coin for that. So this is how we do it. First of all, remove the backing from the double-sided sticky. I haven't got a double-sided sticky that's wide enough, so I've just put two tapes together. Doesn't really matter. Get your 10p, stick it on there, and then just cut out around it. It isn't important at this stage that it's all that accurate, so you can just use a pair of scissors. Here we go. There we are, we've got a 10p coin size of double-sided sticky. Turn it over, remove the backing from the other side and put the 5p coin in the middle. There we go. And now carefully with a very sharp blade cut around the 5p coin. Here I've cut around the 5p coin. Now remove the 5p coin. Remove the inside of the double-sided sticky from the 10p coin. And then, now we've got a 10p coin with sticky all around the edge. Just put that on top of your neutral density gel like that. 
stick it down nicely and cut out there you go now all we need to do is peel it off the 10p coin And there we are, we've got our neutral density filter. Let's have a look at the scales. I'll bring them over here, make it easy to see the reading. Switch the scales on. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Now I'll weigh this. There you go, it's on the scales. And it weighs exactly zero grams. So it's not going to make any difference to the balance of the GoPro. So now let's get the GoPro. Bring it over here. Now I've already got a filter on this GoPro camera, but these things are disposable, they're very quick to make. You can make as many as you like. Whenever you want to use one, you just take it out of your carry bag, your camera bag, and there's one I made earlier. Come off. And the one we just made now goes on. There you are, the neutral density filter is now on our GoPro camera and it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever to the balance. And that's how you make a filter for a GoPro camera for 15 pence and when you've finished you've still got the 15 pence. Um, and my advice is just make, um, you could probably make about three or four dozen from one sheet of neutral density filter gel, which costs you a couple of dollars. And whenever you need it to use a neutral density filter, just use a new one. When you're finished, chuck it away. Or when you're finished, take it off. And just stick it on your on your copter and it's always ready to be used again. Thank you for watching the video.